Alright, Janko Soul back again, and I know that it's been a very long time, almost a month already, uh, since I've made a video, and this time it's not going to be something of really creative work. It's uh, going to be a little bit of a tutorial here for um, exporting your spore creatures or just your creations, but I do uh, the creatures best. Uh, I don't really do much else uh, good in that game. Uh, and how to export it into a format more commonly used by uh, 3D software in our day and age. For this tutorial, you're going to need um, a few things. One, you're going to need uh, your copy of Spore. Mine's right there. Okay, you're going to need Spore. You're going to need the Patch 5, which if you didn't know, um, if you go to the Spores website, okay, you see you got Spore, I mean, I'm English, and more, um, it should be here somewhere, yeah, it should be here somewhere, uh, there, there's, uh, there's going to be a little uh, link that will... Crap, I have no idea where this thing goes. Okay, well bear with me here. This is uh, this might be a while. I'll answer her text later. Okay. Um, spore Patch 5. Okay, here. Look at pa Spore Patch 5. You'll see a link on the Spore website. It'll tell you all about... Uh... <laughs> all, all about the patch. The latest patch, really. I just use patch. I hate updating. It's a pain in the ass. And I sure as hell don't like to do it. Get out of that. Uh, so you're gonna need a patch book. And um, any 3D software, uh, commercially used software, is really nice. But you can also use certain softwares. If you're on a 64-bit OS like me, um, the latest version of Blender has Collada support now. So yay! No more 32-bit version bullcrap. You can also use 3ds Max uh, or Maya or um, Mesh Lab if you just want to view it. Uh, Daz Studio 3, um, uh, or any Colada viewer. That's Colada, C-O-L-L-A-D-A. Okay, I've done enough explaining, so we're gonna get right down to it. We're gonna take it, and we're gonna export it. So we're gonna launch Spore. Just let it launch. takes a little while on my PC sometimes when I have it on for a long time. Um, not sure why, because sometimes it'll launch like in two seconds flat. But bear with me, it launches. I have a pretty good comp. I guess I guess while we're waiting, let's look at some of the things in my room. Uh, let's see, that's a Michael Jackson, this is it, poster, observe and report, couple discs, water bottle, not sure why that's there. Uh, okay, well, we all know what my laptop looks like. That's not anything important. The Nintendo poster over there. Stuff, more stuff, stuff. A lot of stuff in my room. This is getting kind of boring. I want it to launch. Okay, this is starting to piss me off a little bit. Okay, this is really str What is wrong with this? Okay, well, since I, I don't want to eat up too much time waiting for my cr for my computer to do something really, really simple, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, brought up the cursor. Okay. So we brought up Spore. I'm gonna skip through the intro. Spore, yay! Okay. 
gonna do let's go to create creature creator you can do anything for this but I like creatures the best they're my favorite part of this game it's what inspired me to get it not even the building okay so you don't have to create a creature in my case I'm just gonna use a uh, creature from my Sporpedia for instance one that I nicknamed Podignasius gonna edit him go into the paint mode so that you can see his uh, weight paint vertex paint specular paint diffuse paint and normal paint he's a little bit of a nasty creature here uh, uh, god he was nasty I don't know why I made him this is gross kinda looks like herpes you know <laughs> No, that's disgusting. I shouldn't joke about that. For some reason, it's taking a while to load up. Oh, there we go. You're going to go Control-Shift-C. You're going to type in and type this in exactly. You're going to type in Colada Export. Exactly like that. I'm having a bit of trouble here with the... Uh, camera. You type that in. You'll have to agree to a terms of service, but for me I've already done that. So it's going to say exported to wherever this creature is located. Just going to get out of Spore. I click quit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be back. This one actually uh, got to... I don't have a lot of space on my camera, so I'll be... Okay. So we're back again. Now, we ha if... Uh, yeah, so we're going to find where our spore creature was, um, you know, the default location is in your documents, my spore creations, uh, depending on what you made, creature, then you're going to want to look for something, uh, it's a special type of file known as .dae, that means collata, but you don't really need that now, you, for now just go into your program, for instance, I'm just going to use, um, god, what's a good one, yeah, Dev Studio, let's use that one. I like this one. It's fun. I would use Poser, but I don't, I don't know about Poser. So what you're going to do is, uh, in any case, really, you would go to File, Import, and on your import box, uh, or in some cases your interface, you want to collect, you want to click on Collata. That is the particular file that you want so I'm going to go to my documents, my spore creations, creatures, and it should read that there's only one Collata file in there. In this case, it's Podignasius. It's going to open it up, and here you go. You've got a fully rendered working model of your spore creature or creation inside a 3D environment. In the uh, it comes with bones, so you can um, make him move however you want. Uh, you can even mess with him a little if you want. If Spore didn't let you do a few things, why don't you do your own things to him? And since you have him in another program, you can put him in a special scene, say with Bryce. Bryce is a landscaping program from Daz 3D. Uh, it's very good. I recommend it. Uh, its level of detail is incredibly high, even without bonus content. Uh, so, yeah, this is, uh, that's how you do it, and I hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, good night.